What's up, boys and girls? Shooting all ages. We're gonna do some stuff with NASCAR 21 Ignition. No one's really doing it, uh, but I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do a whole like career retrospective. We're gonna do five seasons with a current, uh, current or legendary driver, and just to see if they made a return back to NASCAR racing would be a success. And today we're gonna start off with uh, a guy who didn't race a lot of full time Cup. Uh, he uh, raced a lot of part-time cup. But we're going to go with David Pearson. He drove for the famous Wood Brothers. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so, here we go. We're just going to go ahead and do this. David. Yeah, I think David needs a last name. There we go, David Pearson, all-time NASCAR legend, drove for the Wood Brothers. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate to the playoffs and do that for each season. All right, we're at one of the big crown jewels. We're at Talladega, as we're going to go ahead and show you. David's currently 15th in points, uh, nine starts, zero wins, uh, zero stage wins, zero playoff points. So David Pearson's currently tied with 15th with... Chase Briscoe, uh, but we're heading to Dega. That's where we get at Dega. Uh, 11th for Pearson. Not bad. Didn't get a stage win to get stage points, but pretty much overall looking like a pretty decent little season. Maybe we can David Pearson can sneak into his first ever playoffs. All right, boys, we're here. Coke 600 time. We are currently 15th in season one with the Wood Brothers. Uh, so I. I would see maybe where their career can go. Like, I might play with it. Ooh, David Pearson did not finish good with the damn Coke 600. Dropped all the way to 18 points. Uh, he's in a decent little battle between Bubba, Chase. Chase Elliott's not having that great of a season. But, hey, uh, uh, how many winners do we have? We currently have 11 different winners. So, it looks like David might have to win a race. I know in the simulation, the... Uh, I don't think the, the sim car ever wins a race, but I haven't seen anything, and I haven't really simmed a lot. So let's see what happens with David as we're heading to Sonoma now. We're going to go ahead and get to the playoffs, and we'll see if David makes the playoffs in Season 1. All right, but boys, we are back. Here is playoff time. David Pearson has really just dropped off a cliff at the end of the season. He has finished like 31st, 40th. He has not had a good middle of the road here. But we have got 15 different winners. As you can see, Larson has won six races, been dominant. Kyle Busch has got two. Denny's three. Harvick's three. Busher, Logano, Martin Truex, Blaney, McDowell, William Byron, Eric Amarola, Ricky Stenhouse, Chase Briscoe, and Cole Custer have all won races. Bowman and Chase Elliott are battling for the playoff spot, and Brad, Tyler Reddick, uh, stuff like that. Uh, so we're heading to the Coke Zero 400. We're going to go ahead and see because this is the first playoff race. Qualified 24th. And finished 37th, as you can see. David has fell off a damn cliff at the end of this thing. He has not been good at all. The winner of the race was... Was it a new winner? It was William Byron. Um, so let's look at the playoffs. Pearson has fell all the way to 27th. Um, as you can see, there's our whole playoff grid. It's Kyle Busch. Uh, Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch, Harvick, Hamlin, Byron, Bowman. Bowman squeaks in the playoffs. He was a guy battling with Chase. I guess Chase also squeaked in, so they both like magically squeaked in the playoffs with zero wins. But okay, uh, but yeah, uh, Cookout Southern 500. Like I said, this is another Crown Jewel event, so we'll go ahead and do this one. Uh, let's see, qualify 25th as he is 14th. Not a good run. Uh, we'll go ahead and do. We'll just do the rounds. Oh, I didn't mean to hit start session, so I'm gonna cut this out. And we're back. Uh, let's see. Richmond, 14th. Not bad. Like I said, David Pearson. First year in a new car, in a new era. Struggled at Bristol. Actually finished behind Joey Gay. So looks like he's moved up in points. So he was 27th. He's now the 25th. So. Uh, South Point Casino. So before we simulate that, let's actually look and see who got eliminated in the last round. So eliminated drivers McDowell, Busher, Chase Elliott, Ryan Blaney were eliminated. Here's your, oh, 
No, these guys was not eliminated. This is the new toy. So Stenhouse, Amarola, Cole Custer, Briscoe got eliminated. So these are the guys now on the cutting floor heading into the next round. 33rd. Not a good run. Talladega's next. For our boy David. 23rd qualifying run. Eighth in the race. Not bad. Going to move him up a little bit. Uh, here we go for the the end of this round. So let's look and see who's on the bubble. It is Chase Elliott, Bowman, Logano, and McDowell are on the bubble for the Rubble, Roble. And we finished. David finishes 15th. Larson wins. So who is now who is now out? Uh, so it's Bowman, Custer, uh, Chase Elliott, McDowell. I think Logano squeaked in. Yeah, Logano actually squeaked in. So one of those guys missed because the points completely break after that. Um, so there we go. Heading to the final four. A good 15th. He's moving back up in points. So we have new contract offers. We could stay with the Wood Brothers, or we might go to Stuart Haas, or we could go to Front Row. I feel like David Pearson... He was a great driver. He did jump around to like the top cars uh, a lot. That's why he drove for the Wood Brothers. He drove for Judy Don Levy. He drove for a couple of big teams uh, in his in his time. So I'm gonna go ahead and say he's gonna jump. As you can see, actually the front row car is better than the Wood Brothers car, which is funny. I think he's gonna jump to Stuart Haas. Um, we're just gonna do a year contract. So, starting next year, David Pearson's moving to the 14. Tony Stewart was like, damn, you know, I could have a legend in my car. Might as well do it. Uh, let's see. 25th, 9th. So, 23rd points. Not bad for his first season. Um, so far, 29th at Martinsville is really bad. I didn't want to do that. A career. Uh, let's look at our points heading in the final four. Who's the drivers contending? It's Hamlin, Harvick, Kyle Busch, and William Byron. Larson got knocked out with seven wins. Uh, a lot of people would be very pissed off with that. And he had 60 playoff points, which is kind of wild. Uh, so his playoff points didn't even help him in that round. So he must have had a terrible round. Uh, qualifying 23rd, end of the season. Kevin Harvick wins. I'm pretty sure he won the championship. 60 laps led. Pretty much dominated the thing. David Pearson comes home ninth. Uh, so here we go. Uh, retirements. Uh, Brendan gone. Kevin Harvick. Uh, Riley Herbs is moving to the four. Joe Graff Jr. is moving to the 62. Jesus God. And David Pearson is going to Stuart Hall. So two new guys to Stuart Hall. Pearson and Riley Herbs. Um... We'll see how that goes. So uh, we'll go ahead and do the contract. Okay. That was fucking weird. I've never seen that happen. So we'll go ahead and simulate to the Daytona 500. Uh, then we'll do that. And then we'll do the same thing we did last time. Just simulate the playoffs. And all that jazz. So this is year number two for Pearson. Uh, like I said, we'll do five years just to see if he can have a successful, um, successful-ish career. Um... So the Daytona 500, qualified 12th, not bad. Finished 17th in the 500. Joe Graff, the other new guy, finished 18th. Let's see where Riley Herbst finished. Did not. Austin Dillon wins the 500, and Riley Herbst finished 28th. So with that being said, we're 18th in points. Let's see where we are at uh, Coke 600. And boys, we're back. Coke 600 time. Pearson's 20th in points, sort of like last season around this time, was 20th in points. Let's look at our playoffs. 12 different winners. Kyle Busch has won two. Bowman's won one. Austin, Truex, Brad, Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, Kurt Busch, Michael McDowell, once again winning another race. Uh, William Byron, Joe Logano, and Eric Amarola, Tyler Reddick, Christopher Bell, Ross Chastain, Ron Blaney. We're now on the battle here for this cut line. David Pearson's there. Riley Herbst, our teammates, right behind us. So we're not having that bad of a season. We've led more laps than our teammates. So I take that as a positive. Our other teammate is currently 12th in the points. And Cole Custer is 27th. So I feel like we're the second best Stuart Haas car. So I'll take that. Uh, Joe Graff Jr. is damn 
42nd in points. Uh, but Coke 600 time. Let's see what old David can do in the Coke 600. One of his one of his better races got fourth. Led one lap. You know, good little run. Puts him 18th in the points. Could be the, the start of a good summer. His summer last season really sucked. So uh, we'll see you at playoff time. All right, boys, we're back. Coke Zero 400 time. David Pearson's 21st in the points. As you can see, we have 15 different winners. Uh, Kyle Busch, Bowman. Kyle Busch looks like the dominant car. Him and Byron this year. Uh, Larson, Dylan, Brad, uh, Byron, Chase Elliott, Truex, Logano, Kurt, Tyler Reddick, Michael McDowell. Riley Herbst sneakily got a win, got two wins this season, so it looks like Riley Herbst might have the better Stuart Haas car than we do. It's rookie season. He's in the playoffs. Denny Hamlin and then Eric Amarola. Blaney's on the outside. Chastain, Chris Rebell, Corey LaJoy, Matt Benedetto, who were only two points behind their old car. Last season, that car was about 27th like, at this time. So, David Pearson in the summer months, and this he has struggled in the summer months. Um, as you can see, last season he had three top fives. And this season he only has one top five. He's DNF twice this year. Um, but his average finish this season is better than last. It's 19.7. So, um, not not doing too hot with that. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll see if he can sneak a win in a Coke Zero 400. We're not going to do it. But I don't think. He can win this event. 21st, not a good one. Did somebody sneakily scooch in the playoffs? Austin Dillon will win at Daytona again. We're going to look at the points currently. Uh, Amarola, Kurt Busch, uh, Tyler Reddick, and Ryan Blaney. Blaney sneak, snuck in. So, with that being said, uh, we'll go ahead and do the, the first round of the playoffs for Season 2. Um, David Pearson really good at Darlington. 24th, not a good little run. Currently 19 the points. Looks like he's going to have a better second season. Qualified 20th. Sixth at Richmond. Good run for David. That's what he really needed. Um, looks like he kind of kicks it on in the fall time. Bristol, third at Bristol. That's probably our best finish, actually. Uh, got stage points. Uh, third at Bristol. I think that's his best overall finish. Uh, Oh, that was the end of a round, so let's look. Uh, so 13, 14, 15, 16th, Riley Herbst is out. Uh, Denny Hamlin, Tyler Reddick, and Michael McDowell. So uh, currently now on the outside looking in is Truex, Blaney, Amarola, and Kurt Busch. Looks like our team, we have one teammate still in the playoffs. Riley Herbst got eliminated. 23rd, ball fun spot there, 23rd. Didn't really move, got stage points in stage two, but nothing crazy. Let's see what happens at Talladega. Starting 19th. Finished top five. Led four laps. David Pearson might be cutting it on. I would like to finish ahead of our teammate here, but we definitely can't. But we are finishing better than Matt DiBenedetto. So that was our old car uh, last year. So we're definitely finished better than that car. Um, so we're going to the Roval. This is the last race in the round. Qualified 18th. Finished 16th, not a bad little run. Let's see who's on who got eliminated. Uh, it is uh, Truex. I don't remember. Blaney's still in. Uh, Byron with six wins. Like these guys right here have to be the guys who run for this championship. It's got to be Byron, Kyle, Logano, and Austin Dillon. They've been the top cars all year long. But we have Ryan Blaney with zero wins. Could sneak in here and, you know. Win the championship with zero wins. Be kind of pog. Um, 20th place qualifying run. 30th in the race. David Pearson hates Texas. New contract offers. We can go lift fast, front row, or track house. These are probably our worst offers that we've gotten so far. Uh, let's see, front row is for a year, live fast is for a year, and track house is for a year. David Pearson drove a lot of Fords. I think we're going to possibly wait and see if we can get another contract. Um, had a better season than he had the previous year, so I don't know why Stuart Haas is cutting him. Ooh, Kansas was terrible. Um, 
Big struggle for him at Kansas. 21st. Um, so he finished 11th at Martinsville. Good little run. Sets up for the final four, which is Austin Dillon, Brad Keselowski. Wow, Logano gets knocked out. Uh, Kyle Busch and Byron are battling for the championship um, at Phoenix. Go ahead and simulate this. We'll go see who wins the championship. So, 20th place qualifying run. We're going to go ahead and we're going to sign our contract, actually. We're going to go ahead and sign with uh, Front Row for year three. So, we're with Front Row now. Big championship run. William Byron gets third. Austin Dillon wins. And Austin Dillon is a cup champion. So, silly season. Only new spot. David Pearson going to Front Row. I guess that means... I guess that means Briscoe's back in the 14. Yes, it does. So, year three, we're with a worse team um, now. Um, as David Pearson's career is, it's been hit or miss. He's been about a top 20 car. Uh, I thought the Stuart Haas would bring him more success. He did have a way better average finish at Stuart Haas. But, hey, maybe jumping into the, the front row car, he might do some things. His teammate... The past two seasons has won races and gotten a playoffs. Let's see what happens. Daytona 500. Qualified 22nd. Not great. And he finished 13th. Got some stage points. The winner of the 500 was Ryan Priest. So Priest is now in the playoffs. Chase Briscoe finished 5th. I think that's where we finished last season in the 500. So uh, we're currently 8th in points. With the playoff points he scored, 8th in points that are finishing 18th. Not bad. Uh, so, we'll see you guys at the Coke 600. All right, boys, we are back. Coke 600 time. David is 28th. He's had three last place finishes uh, this season. Not good at all. We are running better than the other two contracts we got, but not by much. Uh, let's look and see the, uh, the playoffs. We have 10 different winners. We have Byron, Chase, Bowman, Austin Dillon, Kyle Busch, Riley Herbst, Kyle Larson, Denny Hamm, Priest, and Stenhouse. So the JTG guys look like they've turned the wick up. Uh, our old card, the 14, is 14th in points. So it looks like Chase Briscoe was better. Matt, Matty D sitting 20th. About normal for him. Well, I had one of David's best races, Coke 600. You can see 38th at Coda. Not great. Qualifying 30th in the Coke 600. Came home 5th. David Pearson turned the wick up. At the right time. Started 30th in March. Same of the joint fluid build field. So that puts us 21st in points heading into Sonoma. Uh, and then the mid-season break. We'll go ahead and do Sonoma on the mic. Uh, where are we going to finish? 17th. So looks like we're going to have another maybe 20th place season. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys at playoff time. All right, boys, we're back. Playoff time. David Pearson's 24th. Got his best finish in the summer. Finished second at Pocono uh, in the uh, spring race. Or the first race and finished last in the doubleheader of the second week. He's, I mean, he's led 115 laps in this damn car. He's ran more laps than his teammate. We are beating our teammate who's made a playoff two years in a row. So, we've got three top fives, five top tens. We're not running that bad. Four DNFs, that's what really killed us this season. 13 different winners. So, Bell, Blaney, and Reddick. Looking pretty good. Briscoe's going to have to win to get in. Uh, but Herps. I mean, Herbst is doing Herbst things crazy. Uh, currently ninth in the points. But here we go. Daytona. 31st. Not a good run. Kyle Busch crashed. Blaney and Reddick both had bad races. Who won? William Byron. So let's look at the points. Ooh. Reddick will fall out. And Christopher Bell is in. So... With that being said, let's go ahead and do our playoff simulations for year three. I really don't think he's got a lot of good time to sit into a car. You know, He didn't run two years with the team. Finished his 15th at Darlington. One of his better tracks. Um, oh, let's see. Richmond got eighth. He has legitimately turned the wick up at the end of the season. A seventh at Michigan. Daytona was kind of a fluke. Probably gotten a big one. Uh, 29. Oh, that's qualifying. 16th at Bristol. Like, he's legitimately turning it on at the end of the season. 
Uh, we're not gonna look at the thing until we hit the final four. I don't really care anymore. <laughs> this video is already gonna be like 15 minutes long. Um, it doesn't really matter until you hit the final four. 35th of Talladega got in the big one again. David Pearson is just not running that hot on the play tracks, even though those some of his better tracks. 30th of the Roval, or qualified 30th, finishes 30th. About normal. Ooh. I'm just dinged in my kitchen. No new contracts offers. It is from front row. The team's rating is tanked, uh, but we will just go ahead and we will sign that and run with them for another season. Maybe just to get a little, little adjustment to the crew chief and everything. Maybe they'll kick off next season with a bang. Uh, 23rd. Let's see. Hollywood Casinos. Kansas. He did not run good Kansas last year. And once again, does not run good at Kansas. Uh, David Pearson, eighth mile and a half racetracks. As we're heading to Martinsville Speedway, it is 33rd, but our contracts as we take over this week. I don't know why. So we're going to finish 26. Our teammate has turned it up. Uh, six top tens, two top fives, uh, five DNS to our four. I don't know why that's a thing. Let's look and see who's the championship contenders. It's Chase, Kyle, Blaney, and Byron is our championship for your new contract is now in effect. Uh, I have one race left. So they just kick me. Okay. 16th. Haley Deegan has moved into the Cup Series. She's now replacing Ryan Newman. Uh, our contract. I currently don't have a contract. Oh, I do have a contract. I can go to Stuart Haas. Oh. Can I not change the year? I cannot change the length. No, I kind of want to change the length. But we'll take the year contract. We're in the 41 car for 36 races. Back with the Stuart Haas. Um, I don't know what that contract was with, with front row. Like it was for, I guess, the playoffs, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they were like, hey, we can't pay you this money <laughs> anymore. Just restructure your contract, uh, I guess. Um uh, that was really weird to see that, but okay. But now we're driving the 41. Uh, Cole Custer has been kicked to the curb. And Stuart Haas was like, hey, that guy actually drove somewhat decent for us. Um, does that put... I know Deegan's in the series, but does that put... Um, that puts Alfredo back. So we're going to look at all our champions before we start, because this is, I think, our second to last season. So, Chase Elliott won the championship last season. Um, 2022 was Austin Dillon. And then 2021 was Byron? No, Harvick. So, Harvick won the championship, retired. Austin Dillon and then Chase Elliott will be a two-time champion. As we head into season four. Uh, qualified 14 for the 500. Finished. Oh, my God. We in a big one. Damn. David Pearson sitting 19th in points, guys. Maybe this could be a good season for us. We'll see. All right, we're back. Coke 600 time. We're 22nd in points. A 40th at damn Coda. A 33rd in the Bushy McBooker race. But look look at the month before. He had a bad race. Look, he had a 27th, a 35th, and a 37th. And then he had a 12th, a 7th, a 16th. Like, he was in, like, 12th in points. And then I think we were, like, 16th after Dover, and then this 40th place really just took all the wind out of David's sails. He is not good through that section. He's not good during these summer months. Coke 600, he's going to come home eighth for 20th in points. Let's see if anything crazy has happened this uh, year. Uh, Larson with three wins, Blaney with one, Chase Elliott with three, uh, on the roll with one, Bowman with two, Haley Deegan picking up two dubs in a rookie season. Driving the 06 for old Roush, Fenway, Keselowski racing. Good little start. Logano and then our old teammate Michael McDowell squeaking in. We're we're still in a thick of a playoff battle. Uh, 
we're not that far off of Tyler Reddick. He just can't have no more battle races. All right, boys, Coke Zero for 100 time. We're 19th, and we've still got technically a shot. It's a it's a long shot, but we got a shot. Best points we finished. We ran all year. Uh, David turned the damn wick on. He had three bad weeks right here, right in front of playoff time. But, I mean, look, a third, a 17th, an eighth, a fifth, a fourth, a 17th. Like, when I said we can't have more bad races, he turned the damn wick up. And then we had three bad races. So, uh, heading to the Coke Zero 400. Uh, don't know what's going to happen here. I know he's not going to win uh, a second. And these guys having trouble could help us. 11th. We're 18th. We barely missed the playoffs. Damn. But I think that does secure us in a spot. At Stuart Haas for our last year. Chastain, Keselowski, Reddick, Truex, Amarola, Logano, Haley Deegan, Blaney, McDowell, Hamlin, Dillon, Kyle Busch, Byron, Bowman, Elliott, and Larson. Hendrick, one, two, three, four, to start the playoffs. But damn. Bro, he was he was close this year. David Pearson was legit a contender, and now it just looks like he does not care. He fucking hates his life. <laughs> he said he didn't make the playoffs. Uh, yeah, he is He is not happy that he didn't make the playoffs. A 39th of 28th. Just terrible runs for David. A 6th at Bristol. A little run at Bristol. Oh, like I said, we don't care about the, uh, the rest of this, but uh, we'll go ahead and do this. 7th, 8th. Turning the whip back on. Come on, David. You know, you, you got to get a contract, my guy. We're, we're struggling. We won a good contractor last year. 11th at Dega. Look at David. David Pearson. Could jump to Benedetto and Bell. That's what I want. I would like to get 17th in the points. Just to show that we, we've got the we've got the stuff. Roval. 19th qualified. 9th in the race. 18th in points. Heading to Texas, one of his weak tracks. 17th qualifying run. 16th in the race, we'll take it. How many points we had at 17th? We're one point out. Deegan's been eliminated, but we're one point out of 17th. Oh, we have a new contract. We'll view later. I'm going to view it before Phoenix. Hollywood Casino, 19th qualifying run. 11th. We are 17th in points. We are charging. David Pearson. Just can't have a bad race at Martinsville. 17th qualifying run. 27th. Oh, my God. He choked it. He choked it. Oh, my God. He choked it. 20 fucking points. Jesus, David. What's our contracts looking like? Our final year. They want us to take over for William Byron. Huh, jokes on you, David. David Pearson's driving a Chevrolet his last year. Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> Maybe William Byron just couldn't win a championship, and they knew David Pearson was was a goat. Fourteenth at Phoenix. Allgaier, uh, Kurt Busch retires. Allgaier goes to Chip Ganassi. Uh, William Byron said he wanted to go run truck series again. Uh, so with this last season, we're just going to simulate it all. Um, and we're just going to talk through the whole thing since it is the last season for David Pearson. At the end of the thing, we'll take a look at his, all the stats, but uh, what a wild contract that was. I was expecting possibly another Stuart Haas deal, but they weren't even on the table, but they give us the 24. Um, I guess they Hendrick really likes David Pearson. Maybe William Byron got caught smuggling drugs. I don't fucking know. Daytona 500, we're going to finish 17th. 10th in the points. Not bad. Um, I probably should have looked and seen one of the 500. 32nd. Fuck, he sucks at road courses. Who won the 500? All guys there. Uh, let's see. Michael McDowell won the 500. Fuck, of course he was. Um, 15th there. 31st. Oh, oh no, David. Oh no, David. The bow tie is fucking killing him here. 15th qualifying run. He's having good qualifying runs. Oh my god. David. 
Please. Brother. Looks like Haley Deegan's won a race. 13th there. Kind of turning the, turning it around. Looks like Deegan won a race. Deegan has won a race. She's won two races already. Haley Deegan. Topping the points here in 2025. Um... Uh, but looks like when David went to drive the Chevrolet, the Chevrolet is not cutting it. Eighth at Atlanta could be the start of a turnaround here. Uh, let's hope so. Uh, Bristol Dirt Race, 15th qualifying run, 13th. Um, he's just he just can't have any more bad runs. Like legitimately, he can't have any bad runs. He has to be top 15 every week out. 14th plus qualifying start, fifth at Martinsville. Let's go, David. 21st. Here's the march. Here we go. Come on. 15th. We get to Richmond. Jesus fucking AIDS. You only ran 55 laps. Holy shit. I don't even want to look at the damn points. Talladega. Ran them all. Finished 15th. Like I'm actually heartbroken here. At the end of this. Last season was probably his best. Got A fair. Oh, we're nineteenth in points. Not bad. We just we can't have any bad luck. And this is usually his bad stretches right here. Fourteenth at Darlington. It's about Dover Coda. He's not ran good at Coda his whole career. Twenty eighth. Yeah, we did not need that at all. That's his worst finish. Coda fifteenth. It's not cutting it. It is not cutting it for a boy, David. 38th. Only ran 305 of the 340. Is it 340 in this race? No. 400 laps. Only, tw only 24 cars finished their damn race. So, Just not looking good here in our last season for David Pearson. Had a great qualifying run, though. Holy hell. 13th. How many points are we out of 16? Uh, almost 100. So, 100 point swing. I mean, he can do it. Deegan still got two wins. Blaney with three. Larson with three. Bowman with three. Looks like Deegan's going crazy in the six. We never even got the offer to six cars. So. Um, Nashville, Super Speedway, 35th. Yeah. Looks like David is just done with the season already. He is ready for retirement. He is tired. He's ready to go home. 36 at Pocono. This race should be a little bit higher. Fourth place. 25th in points. Um, here's where he had a decent stretch last season. This is where he kind of turned on the wick. 29th. Yep. I'm just not even going to talk. We're not even going to talk about turning on the wick. David, just retire. Okay. I got your point here. <laughs> you do not like driving the bow tie for Mr. H. And we, we all know... 10th. Let's see. How many points are we out here? 374, 522. Yeah, it looks like he's got a win to get in, which he can't. Because the game does not simulate your driver winning a race. Even if it isn't one of the best cars that's won multiple races every year. Um, Which is weird. 35th. David Pearson is just ready to retire. He did not like driving for Chevrolet. Fortieth there, heading into Daytona. Maybe he can squeak out a simulation win. I've not seen one. Twenty sixth in points. He's ten. Like he is legitimately terrible this year. Well, only one DNF. Um, two top fives. Just not a great year for David Pearson. Only twelve different winners. Looks like all guys going to squeak in the playoff. A little playoff run there. Uh, but, yeah, it looks like Pearson's last year is not going to be a good one. 15th. Finished 7th at Daytona. Does not help our case at all. Uh, Southern 500. Got 11th. I mean, it just it does not look good for David Pearson just for right now. 13th. Looks like he's damn trying to get another contract, what it looks like. He's driving pretty good at the end of the season. 15th. Where was this at in a year, David? We could have made the playoff and maybe had a run here. 
31st. Okay, there we go. That's David Pierce we come to know and love. Uh, 11th at Talladega. Not bad. Roval. 14th qualifying run. 24th in race. Just... Maybe David Pearson just likes Fords. Fifth at Texas. That's his best run at Texas. New contract offer. It is the drive the seven for Spire. David Pearson has already announced he is retiring from the NASCAR Cup Series at the end of the season. Um, after five years, he has decided to call it quits and go race Xfinity and trucks. Uh, as we head to the season finale 500, it is our final four. It is Larson, Hamlin, Kyle Busch, and Blaney. Um, let's go ahead and simulate this. Uh, season finale 500, who wins the championship? I'll refresh behind Joe Graff. Kyle Larson will win his second championship. David Pearson has no contract, and he has... Be tired. Uh, let's find a driver. There you go. David Pearson. So, in a total of uh, five years, he's 21st all time. 21st, I guess, of active drivers with points. He has 33,000 points, 180 starts, 15 top fives, 43 top tens, 10 DNS, 883 laps led. He had an average start of 21.3 and an average finish of 20.2. Namanta called him $21 million in his career. Uh, his last season was probably his worst. His second year and his fourth uh, year, the two years with Stuart Haas, were his best years statistically. Um, the year he led the most laps was last season, or the year before with Stuart Haas racing. Uh, but... As you can see, 18th and 19th was his best points finish. Uh, he has average points finish is 21st. And so, that being said, guys, David Pearson in the books. Uh, I say his career, he was about a, you know, a second tier team driver. So, he would drive for the Wood Brothers, 23XI, um, Roush. That's probably where he would be signing contracts if he were to race in the year 2022. Um, yeah. So thanks, you guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little wonky. Uh, I'm going to try to do more of these. Leave a comment down below who you want to see next. We, we've got tons of guys. We can we can even throw fantasy guys. We can do willpower. We can do IndyCar, Formula One. It does not matter. Uh, but... Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace.